Welcome to HackYeah.com. My name is Trenton and I'll be looking at improved tab nabbing with iframes. Earlier this week, Azarask and the creative lead for Firefox released a proof of concept for a new type of phishing attack he's dubbed tab nabbing. In this attack, a user is directed to a malicious page that seems to be benign. The user uses a page and seems to trust it, and if they move on to a new tab, something interesting will happen. Note how the fave icon and page title are changed. And if we go back to it, we can see that a malicious login page has been overlaid from our original page. If the user were to type in their username and password, this would be logged and sent back to an attacker. One thing about this attack, though, is that if the user, while looking at the fake page, clicks on another link, the attack is over. Once they change tabs, it will not be redirected to the fake page. With iframes, however, this is different. I've placed a proof of concept on hackya.com and I would encourage you to download it and follow along, especially in the second half when I go over the code briefly and show how it works. But for now, I'll give a demo. Let's say an attacker downloads this and places it on a server somewhere. Before they do, they can change a few simple variables. They can change the quote-unquote real page that the user will see when they click on the link or click on this page, and then the title for the real page. They can also set the fave icon for this page. They can set the fake page URL as well as title. And for browsers other than IE, they can set a fake fave icon. In IE, I was not able to get the fave icon to change. So if it's between, if the real page and fake page are between two different domains, it's probably best to leave this blank. And then in IE, I've been able to find a way to note tab events while using iframes. And so this is a amount of time between switching tabs and the the page actually being redirected. On other browsers, however, I was not able to find a way to be tab aware due to the way that JavaScript handles focus and blur with iframes. So what I've done instead is I've set a just a generic timeout that says after 10 seconds, whether the user's on the page or not, redirect them to the to the fake page. So this will make a little bit of sense as I actually give the demo. Let's say a user is tempted to click on a fake page and they do so. Upon clicking on that page everything seems to be just fine but let's say they do a search here and they go to a whole nother page. Let's go to another domain here. Now note if they do go to another no domain the title and the fave icon still remain. However they're on another page now. We can go ahead and browse this a little bit and as soon as they go from this page to another tab, note what happens to the tab on the top left here. After a few seconds, it's redirected to our malicious page. In this case, it's just my website. So that's in Internet Explorer. In Firefox, there is a similar thing that happens. It's nearly the same type of an attack, except that it's set on a timer. So whether they're on the tab or not, after 10 seconds is what I currently have it set to, the tab will change. And here you can see that it's redirected. So I'll briefly go over what the code does and how it works. Here we set some variables. After the, the options, we set a timer value, which will be used later to keep track of how long they've been on the tab or on the page. And a variable that keeps track of whether we've actually switched the page or not to keep certain things from running again. Um, here's where we find the browser type. This is used later in determining whether we should use the tab aware function for IE or the generic time for other browsers. Um, after that we set the page title and set the page fave icon and then we create our iframe. Earlier in the page we set some script style um, some, we inserted some CSS that helps make our iframe appear to be full screen. Um, and it's a little bit buggy. If anybody has any ideas for improvements, feel free to let me know. It works for most sites, however, if some sites um, prevent viewing them from within an iframe, it won't work. And if they call certain JavaScript functions, it can cause the script to error out as well. So if you guys have any improvements, feel free to send them my way. Um, next, we will focus on the iframe. This is so that if the user clicks on the malicious link, goes to the page, but doesn't actually click anywhere on that page, it won't redirect them. After that, we have our 
functions that wait for the change in the tab. Um, so if it's Internet Explorer, basically what we say, and this is a concept that was more or less modified but taken taken nearly directly from Azaraskin's page. But if um, we basically say wait for the time to switch after that, um, then go ahead and go to the tab nab it function. However, if we are on the page, then go ahead and clear the timer. And it will continue to do this until we are off the page in which it will start the timer. Um, so if you return to the page, it will reset it. So that's what that's about. If it's not an IE, it's set to set the timeout, so whatever the time to switch others value is. Last, we have our tab nab it function. This is the function that will actually change everything. If switched equals false, so if we have not yet switched the page before, then we are going to do a redirect on our tab nab to the fake page URL. And then if there is a fake page title defined, we're going to go ahead and change that. And here, if it's not an Internet Explorer, we can go ahead and change the fav icon in IE. It's not supported, um, or dynamic changing of icons is not supported. So that's really all there is to it. It's fairly simple, but has the potential um, to cause a lot of problems. If you want to protect yourself against this type of attack, there are a few things that you can do. If you're a user, just be very careful on the links that you click on in emails. One of the best things that you can do is copy the link into the address bar, make sure it looks legitimate there, and then click go. Don't click on links directly from email or any other suspicious sites. Um, you can also install a secure browser such as Firefox with an anti-JavaScript tool such as NoScript that will allow you to choose whether to execute certain script options. Something like that can completely prevent any type of tab nabbing script. Um, if you are a web developer, one of the things you can do is check to see if users are viewing your page from within an iframe. Um, you can compare the top and self values to see if they match. If they're not in an iframe, then they should match. You can also check the X frame options that some browsers are compatible with to see whether um, the page that you currently are on is being viewed from an iframe. So with that, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me. I'd love to see any improvements that you can make to the script. It still is a little bit buggy, but at least it can show you the possibility of um, a new type of tab nabbing attack. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Feel free to email me at triton at Thanks.